the drive there is just so beautiful. It looks just like a painting. Let's see if I can turn the camera around. Well, right now all you can see is a road, but trust me, it's beautiful. So the night before Hobbiton, we camped at Firth Tower Museum which is only about a 15 to 20 minute drive to Hobbiton. We got there pretty late, but luckily we were the only ones there. Um, they had a power outlet for us to plug in our camper van and they had a public restroom. Um, unfortunately, the restrooms were locked despite the receptionist telling us it was gonna be open for 24 hours. Um, thankfully though, we did have a bathroom in our camper van, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, but arriving after sunset, I mean, it was dark. It was a little creepy, not gonna lie, because there was absolutely no one around. But other than that, everything was fine. It went smoothly, it was quiet, and we all had a pretty good sleep. All right, prior to going to the movie set, we chose to park at the Shire's Rest, which is a cute little cafe and a gift shop. That's where the tour bus to the movie set comes pick you up and drop you off. It's maybe a five to seven minute drive at most. Um, as we are driving, our tour guide will basically give us a brief history of how Hobbiton came to be built. Um, and all that while we enjoy a nice scenic drive through the hills. Um, it was great because they had music from The Hobbit playing in the background and it just made you feel like you were in the movie. Now this flat area on our left, it actually used to be a hill, but they had to flood it out. And this is where the base camp was located. So if actors were not needed on the set, this is where they would be. With all the makeup trailers, meals and beverages, they would get their breakfast, second breakfast, 11 C's, yeah. luncheon, <laughs> afternoon tea, dinner and supper here. And that's why there's no such thing as a skinny hobbit in Hobbiton. <laughs> As we make our way down this hill, make sure to look to your left, to the valley pine trees. All the way in the back you can see some fallen pine trees, and that's where one of the first scenes of the Fellowship of the Ring was filmed. You will see it later in the video, and I hope you all remember it.
I'll probably just get the amber. Unexpected adventure with a baby. So the meat like here at the little tree. You just sit down out here, I guess. So obviously we stopped filming here. Um, this is when we head to the banquet hall to eat our lunch buffet, and let me tell you, it was amazing. Um, I totally regret not taking any photos or videos, but we were just starving, and our child was just driving us crazy. But anyway. Um, when we booked our tour, we chose to do the movie set tour and the meal combo. The banquet hall was basically in a tent, but it was really spacious. No, you don't get to sit wherever you please, but your tour guide will tell you to go to the tables that it has a specific color card that they assign to each tour, and those are found in the middle of the table. This tour and meal combo is pricey, but it is just so worth it, and I would definitely go again. The lunch consisted of a huge variety of food, and I was able to try all of it, and every single thing was delicious. Keep in mind, they only give you about 30 to 45 minutes to eat, so use your time wisely. If we didn't have Luca with us, we would definitely have done the evening banquet as well, or just the evening banquet. Um, because why not? I mean, don't know when we're going to go back to New Zealand, but I'm sure Hobbiton will be just as spectacular at night. Um, yeah, the price is $195 per person if you do the evening banquet, but I mean, when will you ever get to experience something like this again? Everything was amazing, and I highly, highly recommend that anyone who visits New Zealand does this tour.